what is going on guys, Looney here, welcome back to yet another series. Welcome to my MongoDB coding series type of thing. Um, <laughs> so, I've kind of failed this one before, so I'm going to go ahead and try and summarise what I said before. So, if you want to know why I'm starting to do Mongo tutorials, it's because it's an alternative to MySQL. Um, it's NoSQL, well, oh, it's a NoSQL type of database. What that means is it stores data in a JSON file, or a JSON file, depending on how you want to pronounce that, instead of like creating it into a table like MySQL does, and then retrieving the information. Um, Mongo, or any type of NoSQL, is faster, a lot faster, than MySQL, just because MySQL has to store and other things that I don't actually know. Um, where no SQL is just faster because it just gets information from a JSON file. Um, storage is a lot less because JSON is sm smaller, I, th I think. <laughs> These are just personal um, experiences. Uh, the reason why I'm making Mongo tutorials is because, one, they're faster. Two, it's so much easier to code once you remember the basics. And three... I want to move on from MySQL. Yeah, okay, I'll use it sometimes. However, it's it's just not really ideal for a big type of network. Like store and play data, for example, their ranks, their usernames, the last servers they've been on. You know the basics of like just joining a server, like their like their gems or whatever, uh, and their like achievements. You can do in MySQL because that means you don't have to install the Mongo PHP driver. And then that means that Mongo could just be dedicated to like game stuff, for example, um, wins on survival games, losses on survival games, recent survival game match, UHC, you know, stuff like that. Uh, basically, game data. Um, so yeah. Um, so why do I have my website up? It's because it will help you guys. If you guys aren't English and you struggle to follow my tutorials, mainly be or maybe because I speak fast, maybe because I don't explain things properly. And you like text type of tutorials because they're summarized much easier. You can go ahead and come on my website, looneywizard.uk. When you're onto the home, you just need to go ahead and click the files. Click plugin tutorials with MongoDB. And you'll see initializing MongoDB class and some other things I'll add. So after every tutorial or after, or sorry, or before um, I upload tutorials, I should hopefully update this page. For example, this episode is called initializing. And then, obviously, you click on initializing, and it's basically just telling you what we're doing in summary. So, creating our Mongo ex, uh, MongoDB export library. Requirements is a Java IDE, and Mongo Java driver jar file. Now, this is a lot simpler, and as you can see, it says it takes less than five minutes to complete. This is because once you have your Java IDE and your MongoDB Java drive file, you just have to do five simple steps. Technically, three, uh, four, if you... Um, if you basically ignore that as a step. Um, so it, these are much simpler, and if you're not English, um, and your Google Chrome is set to a different language, you can always go ahead and press like the AA thing here. Um, it's, it's not here on mine, but you can always go ahead and press it, and then translate it into your own language if possible. Um, and then obviously it will be in your own language, probably not really translated really well, um, but yeah, it will hopefully be in your own language for you to understand. And then there's images here that you can always go ahead and like right click and open in a new tab to see like bigger images or whatever if you can't read them or see them properly. Um, so basically it's steps and then pictures that show you what you should actually be clicking. And this mouse, it's not my normal mouse, but this is a mouse through Photoshop I added in um, just because it's bigger and it, it stands out more. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, so these will help you. Um, if you are struggling. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to go ahead and watch these tutorials over and over again and then skipping them. Um, you can always go ahead and watch these steps. However, if I do ever um, add any AdFly links to these, um, so I get, get some revenue uh, from helping still, uh, just wait five seconds and skip the ad and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, or I might just do it when you click on files. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> probably not even doing that. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is about that. So if we went ahead and actually carried on with this tutorial after it's five minutes uh, long, then we could just go ahead and Google MongoDB Java driver. And then if you go ahead and click the top one, which is docs.mongodb, we can then go ahead and 
you know, see some of these um, information, it's not really um, that helpful. Um, but if you went ahead and just click this top thing, then it will go ahead and take us to the GitHub um, page. And then this is where we select our Java driver. Now, I will be using 3.0.0 in my tutorials, uh, just because my VPS is using 3.0.0, and any versions below that, um, don't seem to connect to it because obviously different type of connection methods I think um, so um, if you're using Gradle or Maven uh, you can go ahead and always switch and then you get this um, so you can put into your um, uberjar file uh, I'm not going to go download it because I've already got it and I have saved mine in my C drive coding I've named it Mongo Java driver so if we went ahead and opened up our IDE, which would be really helpful. I am using Eclipse just because it's it is my personal preference. Don't tell me to download IntelliJ because it's better. I have my reasons of using Eclipse, and I'm pretty sure that you have yours for using something else. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and switch my workspace to my website tutorials, so I can go ahead and actually carry out this tutorial. Right, so let me just go ahead and quickly delete this, because this was from making the website tutorial. So if I was to go ahead and do a import, and then click on add uh, client job file. Now if you don't have this here, just click import here, and it will load up all this. And then you click job EE, and then add client job file. Um, so that's just like an easier way. So click browse, and then you want to go ahead and locate your Mongo Java driver. You can see mine's in C drive coding in here, and then click OK. It will then load in all the stuff, and as you can see, I've already got a project uh, because I've not really um, deleted the other one. So I want to go ahead and copy this. So if you don't already have this, click finish. But because I've already got it, it's not going to let me. So if I did new project, uh, this is if you already um, got it. So if you've already got it, you can go ahead and go into your workspace area. Uh, where's my website tutorials? And you could just go ahead and delete your Mongo file thing. And then you could go ahead and import it again. I should have already done this before, to be honest. Um, but hey, whatever. And then when you click finish, it will go ahead and import archives, and then the files. Um, and then you will get, usually you'll get this Java EE perspective. Uh, basically, if you click yes, it's going to change to the Java EE perspective. It's not already um, selected. Um, otherwise, you want to go ahead and switch to the Java one. Um, and then set out your layout to be whatever you want it to be. So that is literally episode one. Um, we've done everything that this tutorial said. However, the tutorial is actually a lot less, but it takes a longer time to code um, because it's all on one page, and yeah, there'll be like thousands of lines of code. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, that is about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out. And I'll try and shorten down the next tutorial. Um, it will be hopefully a lot less than this one, just mainly because um, I obviously I had to go ahead and tell you guys for five minutes about what the series is going to be and why I'm making it and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, guys, like I said previously, um, it's a lot faster. Um, you do have to do some more things than MySQL, um, but it's more secure. I'm not going to tell you how to create a user yet. Um, and password and stuff for authentication um, just because you might be doing this on localhost before you even code proper plugins like some people do um, anyway never nevertheless um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time